Hi guys, this is Arthur for FlapturnRiver.com and I will be bringing you a piece called Sit and Go Fin River Value. So basically I would like to discuss two hands from the same $15 normal speed sit and go. This first hand that I already have loaded in the replayer happened a few hands into the first game and the guy to my right was a complete unknown but since I have most regulars in this games marked I always assume that any unknown is a fish unless he starts showing me good player trends so he opens for free x and I elect to call not the best idea to free bet with a pair of sevens in a normal speed sit and go this early in the game now assuming he has a fish's range in this position, this is not that bad of a flop. He does continue with a bet of two thirds of the pot and at this point there is there is no reason for me to fold. The turn is pretty good, but he goes ahead and bets just under half the pot. Now, having seen quite a lot of situations like this, I have noticed that regulars and fish alike tend to check at least one street if they do have the ace, and usually it's the flop. So the fact that this guy, who I still assumed is a fish, is double barreling into me on such a dry board makes me kind of suspicious, so I elect to call again. Looking back at it now, a raise here wouldn't, wouldn't be so bad either. Finally, the river is also a blank and the guy bets very small. At this point I'm 99% sure that he doesn't have an ace, but since I was still assuming that he was a fish at the time, I elected to call getting 4.5 4 to 1 I think, and because I was almost certain that he doesn't have an ace, a call like this should show a slight profit in the long run, no matter what what other kind of hand he will have, because mm, a good percentage of those hands will be bluffs. Unfortunately, he ended up with a pair of tens, which I would expect from a regular, and moving forward in this game, his stats began to sway towards the good regular's stats, but by the end of the game he ended up making a series of very strange calls and other plays which led me to believe that he is a fish but with some pre-flop knowledge and after 63 hands his stats were indeed a little fishy so basically because of lack of history between us I ended up underestimating him thinking that he is a bigger fish than he is but against unknowns I will make this call any time. Now this hand is a little different but with the same outcome, basically a very thin decision to make on the river. Here I have a pair of nines on the button and make a standard open. The small blind was sitting out so I made a smaller than usual raise in the hopes that the regular in the big blind might call a wider range. The flop is by no means a good one, but at this point this is still a mandatory seabed. Unfortunately that did not get the job done, and now a king rolls out. At this point this seems like a pretty good card for me, unless he has king jack or king ten, for any other hand of his this is a scare card and it can definitely hit my range. On the other hand, I have very much doubt he was floating on the flop, simply because we have a lot of history playing these games together and I don't recall him being the type to float the flop almost ever. Considering this, I decided to bet a little over half the pot since I was pretty confident that I could get him off a queen or a jack at this point. So this time my plan backfired and he called me. The river was a brick and he checked again. At this point it was a very close decision between raising somewhere around half the pot, shoving or just giving up on the play. I was pretty certain that the guy had a queen or a jack 
less likely, but, but, but still possible, a king. Um, but considering our history with him, I was also pretty certain that it would be enough for him to call me in this spot no matter what I bet. So I was swaying back and forth between all three decisions, but after some consideration I decided to give up on the play and save myself, myself some chips. And he indeed had queen 10, which I'm pretty sure he would have called me with had I shoved or put in any kind of race. Looking back at it, I feel that I made a mistake on the turn by not betting bigger. I think at the time my reasoning was that I didn't want to get check raised and have to fold, giving up two thirds of my stack. But betting bigger would have probably intimidated him more and he would be less likely to call a river shove, which also would be much easier to make considering the pots and stack sizes in that situation. Another way to go in this hand would be to simply give up on the play on the turn and against fish or unknown opponents, that's exactly what I would do in this spot. But with all the history we've had with that guy, I felt like I could get him to fold the better hand right there. So that was my quick analysis of yesterday's short session. Thanks for watching.